All right, so threat third month you already moving around that's impressive bro like a lot of motherfuckers ain't really doing shit like that at right. that time especially doing it for free because it costs money to go fly right you got to make sure you got your clothes you got to make sure your hair done you yeah. got the uni right food money if you smoke just the whole nine but do you believe in your shit if you believe in your shit then you rock that bitch out Hmm. Rock it out. All that money, anything that I done spent in that year, hey, that shit done came back to me already. I don't have no, me and my husband manage me. Hmm. My husband is my manager. I don't have a fucking team. I don't have no big budget behind me. I do this shit. I, I'm in these streets. I hit leaks and shoot a video. I hit leaks and hit the motherfucking studio. You feel me? Like I'm doing this shit. They, people wouldn't even be able to imagine how. I'm making this shit happen. It just look like, damn, I make this shit look easy. Yeah, you're making it look easy. Man. Okay, so boom. When did the actual merch come into play, though? I dropped the merch this year in May when I, when I was ready. Once I seen the videos is hitting a thousand in three weeks. Mm. Once I seen that I'm finna hit 13K. Once I seen that I'm dropping freestyles on Facebook. Facebook was not my first social media to get the jump, and it was Instagram. Now I'm dropping freestyles on Facebook that's hitting seven, eight K. Them hoes getting shared two and three hundred times. Oh yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I think Facebook a a way better, more platform to market. I agree. Just because the way it's formatted. I agree, you and know? that's how I noticed where I, where the elevation came from because Facebook is now getting my mm -hmm. shit to eight, nine K. Never got them numbers on no, Instagram. Instagram. But Instagram was pushing out the thousand, fifteen hundred well before well before yeah, Facebook. Facebook. So it's all leveling out now. It's just crazy to me. Sometimes it be overwhelming because this shit really popping. Like Okay, so what are you looking to gain from music? What I'm what I'm gaining right now. I want the motherfucking world to know me. They're gonna know me. Okay. See what I done did in twenty four months, so it's inevitable. Everybody who watching me know the world finna know this whole Secondly, I'm finna provide for my family in the meanest way because the streets gonna let me eat. I don't give a fuck about signing. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about a label. I don't give a fuck about signing. The streets feeding me right now and they gonna feed me more and more as they understand and as the word of mouth spread. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done made over $5,000 in this shit. Not I only been doing it two years, not including the first year I did everything free. In the next year, when January 2020 hit, and I put them features to 300, and I start pushing the merch, and I start charging to perform, they pay that shit. Because you know why? In that first year, I methodically made sure you know who I am. You know who I am. You know what I'm going to do to your club. You know how I'm going to do this crowd. I'm going to turn this bitch up. And I'm going to say pay. And guess what? We got choices. You don't got to pay. Or you can pay if you want my drip. And my yeah, drip is not, it's rare. Okay, so let me ask you this. Let's back up. You start doing videos and you start seeing those videos pop. Like, when did you do your first video? What was the first video you shot? Like, like was you nervous to do your first video? Because yeah. you're like, man, nah, I'm, I'm... I ain't no shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know nothing. Everything that I have done, I had to jump into it head first. Not knowing how to motherfucking swim with no flowage. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Survive. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... I get out there with with the video. I shoot my first video. First video is that they caught it. They caught it. Be had that uh little bitch. You can't fuck with me. I, I remade that hoe. Okay, remade that hoe. Freestyle that hoe. So that's my first video. Did that shit within my first year too. I dropped my first video in my first year. She had to. I'm like, okay, what I do? Hmm. Like I don't know that. My music gonna play and I don't gotta do the most. <laughs> I'm over here, nigga. I'm over here like, yes, he little bitch. I'm doing. I'm running out of breath. I'm like, shut up. She like, you don't gotta. Me do all that. She like, yeah. you, you don't gotta say the words yeah. for real. You can, you can, you can lift that yeah. shit. Like, I'm, I'm covering everything with the music. I'm like, okay. You thinking you gotta perform this shit? So I have to learn. I even feel like my first video, I can see some tiredness and shit. People be like, where? But I see it. Because you... Yeah. I know. I yeah. can see it in my eyes. Like, it ain't no confidence. Like, now now y'all see a monster when I shoot the videos. Ain't no needing breath. Okay, bam. So, when you actually see your first video on playback, like, it's edited, dying, and it's ready to go to YouTube or some shit like that, you actually see it. Like, what you was thinking? Like, damn. That shit, man. Man, I was excited than a bitch. Yeah. That was the loudest thing ever in my life to me. To see. The Coming fuck? from a family mom, right? Yeah. I like, the that. fuck? Come on, this hoe. I'm on this hoe. Yeah. And, like, I don't know what to expect in the future, but right now I'm seeing my first video, and this hoe is live. Then a bitch. Yeah. I'm like, okay. 
Okay. See you. Okay, so bam. Hard on the whole, like, what inspired that? Like, when did you start saying shit like that? Immediately. If you go back right now, any of y'all right now, a lot of the old videos not on my page, but you can go to Instagram. I mean, YouTube right now. And everything that I ever have spit is on YouTube. I've been saying hard on a hoe since I was in the bathroom with the puffball for y'all ass. Like, yeah. not even knowing where this shit going. Because that's really me. Yeah. I'm really hard on these hoes. I got a nigga mentality. That's why I give y'all the feel that y'all feel. That's why y'all feel that energy through this motherfucking screen. Because the shit is real. I was born this fucking way. Like, I'm a pretty female, thank the Lord. But I'm hard than a bitch. Like, ain't shit sweet about me. Like, not a motherfucking thing. Like, my fitness, it's hard to get into my fitness like an average bitch. No like, shit. No, like, bitch, get over there. Get all that motherfucking crying on me. What the fuck? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's how I am, like, in real life. So, I'm hard on these hoes. And I say that because I'm a female, but you can't compare me to a female. Okay, I'm glad you said that. So, like, the women that's in rap right now, like, how do you look at them? You got uh, Megan, you got Cardi. Like, how do you look at them as far as rappers when... When you actually got balls and shit like that, like, do you think that they, do you think if Megan Thee Stallion was talking about Black Lives Matter type music that she would sell and she wasn't trying to, and she yeah, wasn't all naked? Sell. The problem is they let these motherfucking industry people and society mind fuck them. I can never be mind fucked. I will never be mind fucked. I'll mind fuck a motherfucker for they mind fuck me. Okay. The problem is, people really feel like it's not going to sell unless it's sexy. Fuck is you talking about? It? Ain't nobody out here showing you that it's going to sell if it ain't sexy and it's just hard and it's good music and it's real and it's street and real people relate to that shit. Ain't nobody out here showing you that. I ain't going to lie because I'm looking like, I like, okay, back to the Megan, right? Yeah. Like. She's nice looking and she have a nice shape. We all know that, right? Right. But let's say she was fat, black, and ugly. Right. And she was talking about Black Lives Matter with the same talent that right. she got right now. She'll she get said, more clout off that shit. Yes. You know why? Okay, I want to know. On because here. they looking at the bad bitch to spit like they already been brainwashed to spit. Hey, talk about that ass I'm looking at. Talk about the pussy. That pussy, it look wet. Talk about it. Let me hear. Look, talk about them titties. You look like the type of bitch that should be talking about that. That's what I want to hear out your mouth. Because society trained me to know that you need to bend your ass over and twerk for me and make me think of you sexually because you look like that. Hmm. Okay. It's a bitch right now. I cannot think of her name. Forgive me because the bitch hard and the bitch she was on double XL freshman. You talking Big about girl. technology? She spit like a motherfucker. Megan can't she, fuck with her. I ain't gonna lie. Her I, lyricist will hang any it, bitch it, it, that's not there right now. I ain't gonna lie. I was gonna bring it up in the last interview with the last girl. Nah, I did, and she didn't know who she was. I was like, man, man I can't say the her, name. I asked her the same question. I say, man, you think if Megan Thee Stallion was that black girl? That be spitting her name. That's her name, Chica Ology or whatever you that's call it. That's who it is, Chica. They call her Chica some she shit. She is fucking dope, bro. Why they so, but they so tuned in to what she's saying. They don't feel like she needs to bend it over and twerk it. Because she's not the stereotype. So she get a pass. She's double XL freshman. Fuck is you saying? So you salute it right now. You know what's up. I ain't gonna lie, let me ask you this. So, I feel like she harder than Megan too. Why you think she ain't at the level she at though? Because of what they've done to society. But fuck that, you don't give up. Hmm. Fuck that, you you know that shit, you call that shit out, and you stand 10 on what the fuck you stand for. Hmm. It's too many, it's billions of zillions of people in this motherfucking world. And I'm gonna tell you, all I can do is speak for me. Hmm. When I started spitting this shit, them, my bitches, my hard gangsta bitches, my street bitches, I'm talking about y'all. They was in my motherfucking DM like, thank you God. My bitches with the profile pictures with the glocks to their head, let you know they ain't gonna pop something. They like, man, thank you God. We tired of hearing that shit. We tired of hearing popping pussy. And, and we all gonna, gonna, gonna provide for our man. We gonna take care of our nigga. Yeah. But why the fuck is that all we talking about? Yeah. That's not all we buy. I'm about that shit. Yeah. My okay. nigga feel like ain't no bitch better than me. Hmm. And then I still come with that gangster shit. He got a best friend that can relate. 
My nigga come from Fifth Ward, straight out the motherfucking mud. And mm. we thug it in everything we do. Like, I understand. We gonna, we gonna take some shots. We gonna smoke that weed. We gonna beat a bitch up. We gonna beat a nigga up. Who yeah. fucking with it? Like, yeah. And then I'm gonna go home and be his stripper bitch. At home. Yeah, not but my on, nigga, not on the radio. Y'all couldn't even imagine that. Y'all gonna have to go back to this to this interview forever and be like, yeah, she said she'll be a stripper bitch. Where, like, where? The fuck you mean? That's not for y'all. That's for him. I got this right here for y'all though. That pressure. 